Hi, I'm Asif Farouk and this is Finextra at Cybos. We're joined today by Mark Bradbury of Apply Financial. Thank you for joining us. So my first question is, what are some of the issues surrounding payments validation? Well, I think the, the issue has been uh, brought to people's attention because of the SEPA regulations and IBAN formats. And I'm now seeing the IBAN format moving to other countries. So for instance, Brazil, the United Arab Emirates, where we are at the moment. Uh, all these uh, countries are moving towards that format, which is creating issues for corporate clients as well as banks. And it's definitely uh, made people focus more on getting payments validation correct, rather than in the past relying on a bank to fix the problem after it's happened. So I've found that we've had a big increase in people coming to us from the corporate sector about how they can use validation tools to uh, make sure they're compliant, not only with SEPA, with other IBAN countries, and also for the countries that are not IBAN-based uh, 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 account numbers. So we found it definitely SEPA has focused, and I can see that other countries now are looking at the SEPA regulations, looking at the IBAN format, and saying, well, this is a way we want to go. It simplifies things, easier for people to follow, and it's one, although there are different uh, lengths of IBANs, but it's one format that's consistent around the world. And what is Apply Financial actually doing in response to this? Well, there's, uh, there's a number of things that we do, uh, and we break our product services down to uh, automated API products and file management products, uh, which are both usable by corporates and by banks. But what we're trying to do is make it as simple as possible for any organization to come to our site, talk to us, and start using the tools straight away. So for instance, when we look at IBAN formats and the SEPA regulations, we've got the 1st of February looming. It's a very important date for a lot of people. Uh, we're able to help uh, companies convert their old account numbers into uh, IBAN formats with the associated BICs. And then once they've done that, we have other services that allow them on a monthly basis to automatically check and clean any erroneous data because data never stands still. The database that's clean today is not a clean database tomorrow and we find quite often with our clients that each month as it comes up they do a clean, they find some uh, erroneous codes, uh, they fix them and it helps them save a lot of time and money uh, running around fixing the problems how they used to do it manually and the other thing is it saves them costs that are associated to the banks charging them to fix a problem. I mean, to a lot of big corporates, or even the small corporates, they're finding that when they get their uh, statement from the bank for services, they are, a big proportion of that is to fix erroneous payments. And with the new regulations with SEPA, um, they're going to find it even more difficult because banks will charge them to fix the problems. So as I say, with our tools, they can uh, convert into the new IBAN format and then they can keep that IBAN and the BIC format clean so that they remove the majority of erroneous payments through their straight, straight through processing and saving them time and money so they can focus on the areas of the business that make them money.